Today we're checking out the Drocon Scouter 901H. And this was sent to me courtesy of Drocon. It is a nice little micro-sized quad, stores inside the transmitter, folds up nice, super long flight time. Let's get it in the air. So inside the box, you're gonna find your quad inside the transmitter, charging cable, a bag of props, prop guards, and a screwdriver. The charging cable is usually inside the bag. And you got your instructions, and there's also a coupon code for free VR if you do a YouTube or Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. It's inside the thing, you can get free goggles. I'm not interested in it, but I figure I'll let you guys know. So here it is, the Drocon Scouter. It stores inside the transmitter. It is a nice looking quad. Nice color blue. I like the color blue. And there you go, folds up, stores away in the transmitter. It can charge off of the transmitter. Has a really long battery flight, long flight time with this battery, I should say. I was trying to find the specs on what the battery is exactly. I can't see it in here. Couldn't find it on the web or in the manual or anything. But I'm getting around nine minutes of flight time with this battery, so that's pretty impressive. And it just unfolds like that. Nice looking quad. You got a charging port and your on off switch on the side here. The front of this guy has a really super bright LED on it. And with that bright LED, you might wonder, is this a good night flyer? And it sure is. I flew this at night, not really expecting a whole lot, but that LED on the front is so bright, it kind of lights up like a flashlight. And it has red and blue LEDs underneath that I didn't think would be super visible at night, but they are very visible. So this one, if you guys are out there wanting to fly at night, very good night flyer. Has a lot of power to fight some wind too. And as I said, nice long flight time. So, enough talking, why don't we get this guy in the air, check it out. Here we have our quad, the transmitter, we are still recording our audio with this camera over here. So, let's get it in the air. We'll set it down on our landing pad here, on off switch on the side. Make sure you get your orientation right when you start this one up. I had some issues thinking the charging port is normally in the back. So when I first launched it, I launched it like that and then it was all confused. Thought I was in headless mode or something like that. Go over some stuff on the transmitter real quick. To start it, you're gonna go both sticks down and out, down and in, stops it. I think it also calibrates it. Let's check that. Yes, that is the calibration. So both sticks down and in. This is going to be auto land and this is gonna be auto takeoff. Actually, it's one key takeoff, not auto takeoff. You have to start up the motors before it'll do that. This one is your rates, and this one is the auto demonstration, like an auto flight feature. We'll show you that when we get in the air. Uh, one of these is headless mode. One of these is one key return. I don't mess around with those too much. And then we got some trim buttons. And if you want to flip it, you push in the right stick and give it input. So let's show you here. We'll go down and out. And that's gonna start us up. So then we're gonna push this button. That'll bring us up in the air. And we got a little bit of a breeze back there. So that's pushing us away. So we'll bring it back here. This is the first rate. Starts off in the first rate. And nice looking quad. Flies extremely well. I really like this one. It's a nice flyer. It does have the altitude hold. So both sticks are centered. I'm gonna put it in the second rate because we do have a slight breeze but this one doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. You can fly it around here in the second rate pretty easily, even with this breeze. And as you can see, it is a nice flyer. Flies very sporty, can get pretty quick. This is only the second rate, full forward pitch into the wind. Handled that pretty well, coming back at us. Not sure, can you guys see that LED in the daylight? It's super bright at night. Like I said earlier, if you want to fly this one at night, if you're interested in night flight, this one is an excellent choice. And it looks cool in the air. You can freak out people, your neighbors and stuff with this little bright light flying around in the air. 
It's like this little alien search ship floating around. Your neighbors will be like, what? I've often wondered what my neighbors think of my night flights. I don't fly at night as much as I used to, but sometimes. And I've flown this one a couple times at night and I really like it as a night flyer. I also like it flying around during the day. So second right here, we got a little bit of a wind coming at my back and it'll funnel a little bit here on the second rate, but it is getting blown around a little bit in the wind, just pushed ever so slightly. So when we go in the third rate, show you the third rate, pitch is gonna increase on the third rate and it's pretty quick in this third rate. Pretty, pretty small, so once you get away from yourself, make sure you look for that bright LED to keep your orientation. So not a super fast yaw rate on this one. Got a pretty steady breeze at the end, at the back here. So it's a flyable yaw rate, I would say. So if you notice, it is a little bit slower on the first rate on the yaw, but I don't notice a whole lot of difference between the second and third rate on the yaw. So I don't think, and there's really only a slight difference in the first and second rate on the yaw. So it does fly nice, it funnels very well. Let's bring it in here a little bit and we're gonna hit this auto demonstration button. And it's gonna go do some crazy pirouettes. And I'm gonna kind of walk with it. You can control the altitude while it's doing this no problem and then once you give it stick input it's going to cancel it so be aware of that one con i did actually try to fly this so we'll put it in headless mode here i'm getting brave so i believe headless mode is this button we are getting pushed around i launched this way so i think it's going to think all right so we're in headless mode so i would like it would have been nice if you push this button in headless mode and it does its thing and then you can still control it, but no, it cancels the, it cancels the, the auto function there. So I wish they had kind of thought of that and, you know, let you control it while you're in headless mode, but I guess you gotta have some way to stop it. You can also stop it if you get in here and it's flying around doing its pirouettes We'll just follow it because it's getting blown a little bit in the breeze. And then if you just push the button again, it will stop it. So let's bring it back. Got tired of walking after it. We've had some beautiful weather here in central New York lately. It's been in the 80s all week in late September. It's pretty unheard of. So it's been pretty good flying weather. And this guy's got a decent amount of power. I mean, it's a fairly steady breeze coming at me from, well, now it's coming at me that I turned around, but now it's coming to my back. But this quad can fly right into it. It's not gonna have any problems. And as I said, you get about a night. I've had a bunch of different flights with this. Only one of them was under nine minutes. And that was like eight minutes and 47 seconds or something like that. And it was fairly windy. I don't know if windy is the right word, breezy. It's kind of like today, so we might have a sub nine minute flight today just because it's fighting this slight breeze here. And I got sorts of all sorts of bugs flying around here. I wonder if they're coming up on camera. You guys see those bugs? So I wish I wish it wasn't we didn't have this wind. I could show you this insane pirouette a little bit better. Let's try another one. But every time I hit it and let go of the pitch and roll stick, it just kind of wants to take off. So we'll bring it back. But it's got no problem flying into the wind. Pretty quiet too, so you're not gonna bother too many people if you wanna fly this in the house. It does have the prop guards you can attach if you wanna fly indoors. Or if you got more experience, you don't need them. Or if you're flying outside at night, you're not gonna bother too many people and you're gonna freak them out with that 
bright headlight. The bright white flying light flying right into my living room. So it will funnel, but unfortunately we just have this slight breeze coming at my back, so it's pushing it away from us here. See, as soon as I let up on the throttle, it's going in. Yeah, just a slight breeze, but this guy's just a little micro quad. In my opinion, these toy grade quads, this is, this right about this is one of my favorite size to fly. They usually fly pretty sporty and they usually have enough power to fly them outside and they're maneuverable enough to fly indoors. And all these things are true of this quad. The Drocon Scouter, what is it, the 901H? Does have altitude hold. There might be a few other brands selling this one also. But this is the Drocon branded version. And I'm a fan of this one. Comes in around 40 bucks. So it might be a little bit pricey, but I think it's, it's, it's worth it. It's got some nice auto features. And it is interesting to me that, you know, the yaw rate when you're just flying around, it's really not that fast, kind of slow actually. And then when you hit it with the auto function there, it's really pretty quick. I'll roll some footage of this guy on a less breezy day doing its pirouette. It is a nice flyer and has great flight times. I'd say this is probably the windiest conditions I've flown this one in. You do have, ooh, look at the butterfly. Butterfly. I don't want to hit the butterfly with my quad. That wouldn't be fun. He's out there going out into the cornfields. So yeah, you're looking for a quad that has a nice, ooh, we got LVC here. We're not flipping anymore. We do. So let's do an auto land if we can. See if we can hit our landing pad in the wind. Nope, sure can't, sure can't. So there you go, there's your LEDs blinking. I wish the front one blinked when you hit LV LVC also, but it does not. That would make it a little bit easier to see, but you figure it out anyway, right? You figure it out when you hit LVC. So there you go, guys. Drocon Scouter 901H. I think it's a nice flyer. Let's shut it off here real quick. We'll shut off our transmitter and we'll fold it up real quick. The arms only fold one way, so there's no confusion there. Pop open your transmitter. You got your little charging cable there. You can charge it that way if you choose. I did not experiment with that at all, so I'm not sure how long it takes. The one con on that is it does eat your battery inside your transmitter, so I don't necessarily like to do it. I believe it took four double A's. Maybe they're triple. I can't exactly remember. So. Big fan of this one. I have it linked in the description and I'll probably leave you guys with a little more night flying here of the Drocon 901H Scouter. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.